the next unit's on sequences and series. All right. These are, you may be seeing them before, maybe not. Just depends what you did in Algebra 1. However, even if you did see them, we're going to be doing different things with them in terms of um, actually finding some equations and some doing some other things with them that you did not do in the past. All right. So what are they? A sequence is an ordered list of numbers, all right, that has a specific pattern that's either adding or multiplying. Um, start out with, I'm just going to give you some sequences that are sitting there, and you're going to look at them, try to figure out what's happening. Is it multiplying? Is it adding? What's actually taking place in the problem? And we're just going to make some simple statements about them. They have a little bit of a different notation that we have to get used to. We're used to seeing functions written as f and then parenthesis n, meaning f of n or any other letter, A of N, sequences are typically written with an A and an N just like that, where the N is kind of a subscript. All right. Now, why? I actually didn't know this. Um, I didn't know the perfect reason to describe this. So I've talked to some people and asked some questions. And what we kind of came to, and it makes complete sense, is that you can only use whole numbers in these things. All right. They're basically counting functions. I don't know if that's the proper term for them. I know there was counting functions when I was in some different math classes and counting functions were functions you could only use whole numbers in because you were counting things. All right, you were counting the number of cars or the number of people or something like that. That's what sequences tend to do. They're counting things. So that's why you can only insert or input whole numbers. All right, if you're talking about the numbers of rows in an auditorium, you can only have whole numbers, first row, second row, third row. And that's what a lot of these things do. So you cannot use decimals or fractions. Um, that's the best reason I can give you as to why they're written differently. All right, but if you in your brain just remember that these two things in essence mean the same thing, then we're good. All right, so just like before, f of three meant plug in a three. A of three means plug in a three. Okay, so we're gonna be doing basically the same thing. Now there's lots of different little intricacies with these things that we have to pay attention to uh, when we're actually figuring out how to deal with them. Figuring out what pattern they have and stuff, that's the easier part here. It's when we get asked to find a specific number and then it's uh, recursive, which we'll talk about, and we have to go through and find five or six different numbers before we can find that one. That's when these become frustrating. So to start off with, let's just identify them, and then let's figure out the pattern. 